My name is Ms. Tastic, and today we're going to make cute little T-Rexes. For this tutorial, you're going to need oil pastels and washable felt markers. Let's get started. We're going to begin by drawing the eyes. Now we want to make sure that we have sufficient room for the T-Rex's body. So we're going to make sure that we start on the left side of our page near the top. That way you have enough room for the legs and enough room for that long tail of your really cute T-Rex. So eyes first, two eyes over here. Begin with one oval and draw a little oval in the center, then we're going to draw a much smaller oval with a much smaller oval in the center as well. And then you, of course, you can, of course, color that in, being careful not to color over that white. Next, we're going to draw a nice arch or a upside down U or a rainbow shape just to do the top of the head. So up we go around and down. We're gonna do another big curving dynamic line for the mouth. So big curving dynamic line for that mouth. We're gonna add a little V in the corner for that corner of the mouth. Next, we're gonna draw some really, really big teeth. Like so. And the bottom of the jaw. We're gonna do two more little rainbow arches or curved lines or upside down U's, whatever you want to call them, for the nostrils and add little black circles in there as well. Next we're going to draw the back of your T-Rex. So we're gonna have this neck come down and out. Then we're gonna draw just the curve of that tail so we know how far we have to go. We're gonna draw his arm or her arm. So top of the arm with two fingers, a little knobbly elbow. And now we can draw the back leg, so backward, sorry, letter, letter C for that hind leg there. Then we're going to go out and down. From here, we're going to come down, then out, another knobbly joint, and down. From there, we're going to Add two big toes. Okay. Now this is a cute dinosaur. He so this dinosaur needs an awfully big belly. Tie it up to there. Just adding a little arm in the background there for the arm in the back. We'll do the same for the leg. Perfect. Next we're going to add the remainder of the tail. Mine's just going to curve over there. I'm also going to add The line for where I'm going to have a two tone for where the belly is. And I'm going to add lines along the belly and the bottom of the tail for texture. For added cuteness, you can also add some spots on your dinosaur, such as around the head and the back, and maybe even a couple on the tail. Whatever makes you happy. Our dinosaur needs somewhere to live, so I'm just going to add a few details. 
for where he might be living. Such as, maybe I'll have a little plant down in the bottom here. And I'll also add some rocks at the base, maybe even along here. And I'll add my horizon line. And we'll also add just a few jagged lines leading up to a volcano there. As the world is definitely still unstable. So we'll add a fuming volcano for some fun. Now that the dinosaur is all colored, we can work on coloring part of it in. So first I'm just gonna use a white oil pastel to color in those teeth. And those white parts in the eye. I'm also going to color some of the spots with a yellow pastel. And every second stripe. I'm also now going to take a green washable felt marker. I'm just gonna outline my dino here. I'm using the side of it so that way I get a much thicker mark. But when I get to the legs and the, or the leg and the arm in the back, I'm just gonna call, color it solid, so that way it remains darker than the limbs in the front. Cool. Uh, what else could we do? We could add some pastel down here before I get my water out. I do have a plan for the inside here, so bear with me. I just want to add a few more details that are colored before we get going with that situation. Color in part of this lava. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about oil pastels is when you start layering them, they start blending together a lot like paint. So they're really cool for that situation. I am now gonna outline the bottom here. I'm just going to add some zigzag lines or just some random lines along the ground. 
and I'm not going to fill it all the way in. It's just adding a little bit of texture. And yes, I have a plan for that too. And it's all going to make sense real soon because we're going to get a paintbrush and water. No paint. This is going to be false paint today. But it's going to look cool and it makes it a lot easier in terms of cleanup and doing this at home, right? Because then you, everybody will have the mediums for this. I'm also going to do the same for the clouds here. For the smoke billowing up here. Cool. If you want to get super cool too, you can add some texture. Just by adding some random lines with the tip because the details and the distance are not gonna be as clear, so we're just adding texture so it's not super smooth, because rock really is not, especially back then when it was cer certainly still forming, right? Okay, here we go. We're gonna get our paintbrush and some water, and we're going to now paint. Here's the magic. At first, not a lot, but as you start going and you're swirling that water amongst that paint, Slowly, this dino is going to become green. Oh, like green, of course. This is not real paint. We're just making this water bleed. Now, the trick is to not scrub in the same spot forever like this. All you're going to do is create a nice big hole that goes right down to the table. And because we have some pastel in here, all those little details will remain just as clear as when we drew them because it's resisting the paint or the water. We can do the same for the volcano here. Now I need to be careful not to get this pigment on my dinosaur because then he's going to be brown. But how cool is that, eh? Just paint without the mess. And it makes it really easy when you just want to do a quick experimentation at home or in your classroom. Well, we're gonna let this dry and we'll come back to it when it is not soaking wet. All right, our dinosaur is now dry and you can clearly see how everything dried and how cute that looks, right? Well, Artastic Nation, that is the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic, and shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MsArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.